Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. I'm Mr. Muhammad Naim bin Abdullah, Cyber Security Lecturer in University of Malaysia of Computer Science and Engineering or UNIMI. First and foremost, every information related system is at risk of cyber attack. According to Microsoft in collaboration with Frost and Sullivan in 2018, cyber threats on organizations cost the Malaysia's economy about 53.5 billion ringgit Malaysia. In this slideshow presentation, you will learn about introduction to cyber security, cyber threats, cyber attackers, cyber crime common cases, prevention tips, and also the best practices for cyber security. Hopefully the following slide will give you a better understanding and clear picture about the cyber security for you to know and do something to protect your data and your system. For the most people, information is a critical asset. Therefore, it must be protected from authorized personnel, modification, destruction and disclosure. It is the responsibility for everyone to become familiar with a good security principles and to follow the information protection tips. First and foremost, I'll make you familiar with some element or parties involved in this cybersecurity. So what is cybersecurity? So cybersecurity is the body of technologies, processes and practices designed to protect the networks, computers, program and data from any attack, damage or unauthorized access. That is the general definition of cybersecurity. Hopefully you will have an idea what are the cybersecurity is about. So when we talk about the current information technology trend, all information systems are exposed to cyber threats. So what is a cyber threat? So in computer security, a cyber threat is a possible danger that might be exploit a vulnerability to breach security and therefore cause possible harm to the system. For example, uh, malware, virus, spam and spyware. Who is cybersecurity hacker? In the computer security context, a security hacker is someone who seeks and exploit weaknesses in a computer system or computer network. Basically, uh, there are three common types of hackers which are white hat, grey hat and black hat. The white hat hacker is a good guy who tests existing internet infrastructure to research loopholes in the system. They create algorithm and perform multiple methodologies to break into the system only to strengthen them. In other words, they are a uh, uh, good guy. Second one is uh, black hat hacker. Uh, simply put, these are the bad guys. Black hat hackers are responsible for all that is wrong with hacking. So this guy break into system purely with negative intention, from stealing credit card information to altering public databases. All black hacker look to gain fame or monetary benefit from exploiting the loopholes in internet framework. And then, uh, the third one is a grey hat hacker. A grey hat hacker usually has mixed intention. As the color code implies, this hacker type does not have the good intention of white hat hacker, nor does he have the ill intention of a black hacker. So a grey hat will break into the system but never for his own benefit. It depends on the task given by uh, which uh, party. Hackers may be motivated by a multitude of a reason, which is to gain a profit, to challenge their hacking skills, for enjoyment, to evaluate those weaknesses in the uh, system, such as uh, penetration testing, and to assist in removing weaknesses. The subculture that has evolved around hackers is often referred to as the computer underground. Have you ever think how does the hacker communicate 
with target system to get into uh, they, they, they get into the, 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 the target system via uh, using a targeted email they sending a fake email to make a victim believe that they are from the junior party that they claim who they are and then uh, by uploading the fake fake website to get a victim's username and password such as uh, make a mirror uh, website for a Maybank to you then when a user click on that fake uh, or mirrored Maybank to you website so they will key in the username and password so by that website the attackers will get the available information which is the username and password for that Maybank to you website okay and then uh, sending uh, malicious web link address to victims email and also uh, using the social media for example uh, Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram and Twitter. Cybercrime is a criminal offences committed via the internet or otherwise aided by various form of computer technology so that is the definition of the uh, cybercrime for, for example uh, identity theft uh, transaction fraud, hacking, piracy, and everything like etc. So malware infection. Malware is a term used to refer to a variety of form of hostile or intrusive uh, software, including computer viruses, worm, Trojan horses, ransomware, spyware, adware, and other malicious program. It can take the form of executable code script, active content, and uh, other software. So what might happen after malware infection? First is data breach. A data breach is an incident in which sensitive, protected, or confidential data has pot potentially been viewed, stolen, or used by the individual unauthorized to do so. Data breaches may involve business secret, personal health information or PHI, personal identifiable information or PII, trade secrets or intellectual property. So some uh, statistic uh, about data breach cases in Malaysia. So statistic according to Cybersecurity Malaysia, in 2019 about 178 cases has been reported in 2018 uh, 63 cases has been uh, reported in 2017 uh, 17 cases only has been reported so it shows that the trend was increased year by year so uh, maybe in 2020, hopefully the, 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 the data breach cases will uh, decrease based on the uh, cybersecurity awareness that given by the uh, cybersecurity Malaysia. So the breach uh, risk factor is unused data not eliminated effectively via data synthesis or shredding. So they simply put the, 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 the important or valuable uh, document that contain uh, some PNC to trash bin they, they didn't uh, shred it using the shredder or whatever and then uh, uh, weak data storage protection or authentication control of the system so that is the, 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 the factors that uh, make the data breach happen so then, uh, then is identity theft. So identity theft is the crime of obtaining the personal or financial information of another person for the sole purpose of assuming that person's name or identity to make a transaction or purchases. So it might be happen through uh, the trash bin, which is uh, looking uh, looking for a uh, bank account or credit card statement in the trash bin uh, around the bank or outside the bank then uh, assessing uh, accessing uh, corporate databases to steal list of customer inf customer information identity theft increasing in Malaysia mainly due to numerous uh, numerous uh, data breach which is uh, 
about 20% in, in 2018. So there are several types of identity theft. The first is uh, criminal identity theft. So the criminal is misrepresent himself as another person during arrest to try to avoid a summon prevent the discovery or a warrant issued in his real name or avoid an arrest or conviction record second is uh, medical which is uh, someone identifies himself as another person to obtain a free uh, medical card or medical care so they, 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 they pretend to be someone to use uh, his uh, medical uh, medical care in the uh, panel clinic so the third one is financial someone uses another person's identity or inform information to obtain credit good services or benefits so now we move to uh, online banking fraud so online banking fraud is a fraud or theft committed using online technology to illegally remove money from a bank account and or transfer money to an account in a different bank. So internet banking fraud is a form of identity theft and is usually made possible through techniques such as phishing. Cyber spying or cyber espionage is the act or practice of obtaining secret without the permission without the permission of the uh, holder. So information stolen such as a personal, sensitive, proprietary, or, or classi of classified nature. So the targeted group for cyber spying is individual competitors, uh, government, and enemies. Okay, most of the time it uh, commonly happen around us so be careful social cyber attack is a cyber attack on uh, social media such as uh, facebook twitter instagram and etc okay, a common concern in social media is protecting your personal information potential dangers include impacting your future uh, embracing or incriminating photos or posts okay you accidentally post on your facebook and then uh, attacks again the user okay cyber attack can analyze your posts on social media for example know your exact or current location via the place you check in in addition to privacy concern here some step to help protect your social media account and online activities so first is uh, login protect each of your account with a strong and unique password and don't share the password with everyone, anyone else for example of good password is combination of small and capital letters number and symbol Please avoid your name as your password because uh, it is very easy to uh, guess. And then a privacy setting. So if you do privacy setting, make sure you review and test them regularly to make sure it really works. And then uh, mobile apps. Okay, download this mobile application from a trusted site such as a, a Google Play for Android phone. Okay, avoid pirate version of application because it may contain some malicious file in that application we cannot control that okay so now i will share you the tips for prevention okay the first is uh, ensure computer configuration or security setting setting is up to date uh, such as update the operating system of uh, regularly okay update the security patch and so on Second is do not open uh, unknown email okay. and also do not open unknown attachment in any email and beware of fake email address. Okay, The third is scan all external drive which is a USB memory for camera or hard disk. Okay, the, third, the fourth is do not connect to a public Wi-Fi network using the company laptop. Okay, or else your company uh, PNC details will be 
uh, stolen or exposed to the public. Uh, the fifth, do not visit or link to unknown and a dangerous website. Make sure you know the genuine or correct website before you use it. Six is do not share verbal information in social media account. Please, for girls especially, uh, minimize your check-in or update about your personal life in uh, social media. <laughs> so here is some best practice you can use also, which is uh, first do not use your smartphone to access unverified or suspicious public uh, Wi-Fi system to avoid uh, possible security issues as twin devil access point are uh, everywhere to trap the user so all I can say is say no to public Wi-Fi it is uh, it's not secure okay uh, second is do not install illegal uh, software or download movie or music into office PC to avoid uh, malware or spyware uh, being accidentally installed to the PC and then do not share or tell whatsapp message or email or any password to anyone okay keep uh, by yourself okay do not write a password on or behind your credit or debit or ATM card so it, it is easy easy for uh, others to use your ATM card is their uh, password return on that okay and then uh, keep changing password every few man few months uh, the best is uh, in every 30 days okay and ensure your password is complicated or alphanumeric with capital letter for better security okay hard for password guessing activity okay and then uh, do not write your password behind the keyboard, mouse or table or calendar, CPU or LCD or else uh, anyone can log into your uh, PC and then uh, write your password in a complicated way that nobody can guess okay it helps you to, 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 to easy to remember your password but uh, may be complicated to others to, 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 to guess okay so that's all for today. So if you have any question, you can ask me at any time. Uh, thank you for watching this online workshop. Right? Thank you. Bye bye.